Hi friends, today I'm going to show you how to install a RPM package. That is how to install a software in CentOS. So I'll just show you. First of all, first of all what the command which you're going to use for installing a package is RPM. That is called as a Red Hat Package Manager. And I'll just go to the help of this command. And here I'm going to use three switches. One is Verbros, which displays the detailed output. And the next version is the hash, which will print the hash marks. That is a percentage of installation. And next one is I, which is the important command which is used for installing. So installing the packages. So let's start the installation. I'm just going to hit RPM <coughs> and iPhone I for install, V for web browser and H for hashing and the command. I'm just going to hit the install the package called VSF. TPD, that is a FTP server package. I'm just going to give this here. Don't worry. Yeah, and I'm going to hit enter. If you see here, it was showing the error that it has failed the dependencies. That means we need to install all these packages before installing this RPM pack package so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use another car switch called no depths and force no depths will disable the dependencies package verification and the force will stop the sorry then the force will forces the RPM command to install the package forcefully And I'm just going to give no depths and force. Now if you see here the package is installed successfully without any problem. And now I'm going to show you how to install the package in the GM. So for installing the package in the GUI mode, you need to have a root password. For example, I need to install this package, that is VSFTPD package, FTP server package. I'm, right now I am in the root desktop, so no issues in that, I am just going to double click it. If you see here, it was asking for a confirmation dialog box that the local file installer is running in a privilege view. that is you are in a root mode so you can also come away that, that you are in a root mode so no issue in that if you are in a user mode it will ask for the root password for the package installation so right now I am just going to hit a continue anyway and here it was asking for do you want to install this file it was simple so I am just going to hit a install so if you see here it shows that the package is already installed. Actually, I have installed the package before. Installed the package before sometime. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uninstall this package in the GA mode. So, go to the system administration and it is again asked for the conversion. Give continue anyway. And I'm going to search for the package VSF. PD and hit enter. So here you can see that the package was already installed. I'm just going to disable this dialog box and give apply. And here you can see that it was resolving for independencies and asking for the remove confirmation. I'm just going to hit remove and it was testing for some changes and it will remove the package. So now what I'm going to do now is I'm going, going to install this package. To do anyway, hit install and it was resolving here you can see that 
it was asking for the dependencies which needs to be installed if you are an online you can install the package through the online so that it will by default it will install all the dependencies package so now I'm going to give close that's it so if you use the command prompt you can install the package without any issues without by checking the dependencies also and you can also use the force installation but if you use the GA it was not possible for example I'm just going to right click here and show you with the help of this package manager so if you see here this is again asking for and it will again show there you see so this is what happened so this is the difference between the GA installation and the command mode installation using the command rpm and you can also install with the help of the other option by going to there it's going to select package collections sftpd hit enter here you can see it was having a older version by default it was having the older version for the installation and just going to select it and select apply you see here it has stopped since I'm not having the internet connection it was showing like that if you have an internet proper internet connection it will show you the latest version of the package and from where you can get all the packages in the sense if you have a sent OS DVD in your you can just insert it in your drive and you can just open the drive and there you can see a folder named packages so if you go inside into the folder you can see all the packages available that you can copy for a manual installation or an automatic installation through the GUI mode I'm just going to search for the package VSFTP if you see here the packages available here so this is how you can just uh, copy the package into a CentOS operating system so this is how you need to do or uh, this is how you need to install the package in your CentOS and and the same process is followed in uh, Red Hat also so no issues in that and you can also try, try this in the Red Hat operating system also so thank you for watching the video